Hi, my name is Jacobo. I work on Chrome accessibility at Igalia. I would like to give you an update in our work uh, about uh, accessible name computation. Mm, names are an important part of the web accessibility. Uh, interactive elements must have a name that can be spoken up or printed in Braille by assistive technologies so users uh, of those technologies can figure out uh, their purpose. And we have a spec for this matter which documents how the different elements and properties interact to conform those names. One year ago we reported our work in this area uh, we landed many tests, we filed issues on the spec, we fixed bugs in Chrome, and we also clean up our implementation. I would like to talk about one of those issues we filed uh, to the spec. It's a case of ambiguity in the wording, and it's about naming from hidden content. Uh, the main use case for naming from hidden content is tooltips like the ones you can see here. It's supported by the spec and it says that if a node is hidden but it's directly referenced by aria labeled by or described by then it can be used for naming. Uh, the point here is directly referenced because you might think that only direct children of the, that label would be used. Uh, for example here we have a hidden div which is directly referenced by aria label by, and it has children. Uh, what, would, what should we do with those children? Well, the actual implementation in most browsers are actually exposing the entire subtree, the entire hidden subtree in the name. And we also found more differences in implementation uh, between the different user agents. So we joined the discussion. Uh, we talked a lot about the original intent, uh, the purpose, the use cases, and uh, we even went through several proposals and we managed to prototype them. In the end, we settled in the most simple possible change, which was to document what browsers were already doing which is exposing the entire hidden subtree. We only changed one sentence in the spec, although we added a lot of comments and examples because I think those help uh, implementers much more than the raw spec text, so to say. Uh, if you want to know more, I've been documenting our work in accessible name computation in a series of blog posts, and this is the first one of the series. Well, you know the saying, uh, Naming is one of the two hard things in computer science, right? Thank you.